What's up, YouTube? We have Patrick Hoban here, and he just got top 32 at YCS Las Vegas 2014. Yep. Uh, I was playing Um Not much about the deck, I guess. Uh, there's a new combo with it, which is pretty cool. Um, I, I, I played two card cards. Um, last week I played in Mexico, I played Undyne instead of one of them. And some other cards, I don't even know. But um, the games I was losing... It was only the games where I couldn't play, so I just wanted more cards that would get me to like outs to cards that say I can't play. So I played double card car, and I played three Teus, um, just one Megalo, three Lin, one Gun, three Pike, two Turge, Osha. Hildy was the last Mermail I played. What it does is whenever it goes to the graveyard, um, you get special Mermail from your hand. And uh, this is the um, like the new combo or whatever. It's just um, this and any level 4 Mermail. So let's say you have these two in hand and like a Water to Discard for Teus. You summon Teus and then you get Osha. And then Osha to send uh, the Teus. And then you special two of these from your deck. You special any level 4 in the Hild. And then you overlay for Anganir. Um, Obviously, it has to be in time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so you go, you overlay for Anganir, and then you use it to switch the, um, the level four to defense. And then since it went to the graveyard, you can special whatever level four you had in hand. So you just special this. If you want to use its effect, you can. Um, and then you overlay, and you make uh, Bahamut. And then Bahamut gets the trite, and then. Uh, it's like the same thing, except instead of needing Aqua Spirit, it's just a lot more generic because you need any level for it. And so then it, this guarantees this survives a turn, you get a second one. Um, it's a very, very strong combo. It's very How many hard times to lose do you think you did that this weekend? Um, well, we did the math behind it. You're supposed to open that about one in three games. So, like, you know, disregarding back row. It happens a lot. Like just going first, like one in three games, and then it's like almost an auto win. It's a really strong combo. Um, then I just played one dragoons and two marksmen. I didn't want to play three marksmen because you don't really want multiples. They have five the game state, um, and it's combo decks. So you don't want to do that. And uh, it's searchable and reusable, so you don't really want to play three. Um, title, and then still two aqua spirits. Then I played three upstarts and two mystical space. Beside the third, obviously. Right? Yeah. yeah. Then I played for the traps three sphere, three reckless, a torrential, one breakthrough, warning. I really dislike this card. Would you drop it for something else? Like, I don't know. There aren't very many good traps, yeah. but I don't like it very much. Um, two fiendish. Uh, the reason I played two Fiendish and only one Breakthrough is because um, a lot of the games you do lose are where they're just like attacking for a lot of damage and you can't stop it. So like having Breakthrough to stop like what they're actually doing is good, but it doesn't stop attacks. So I found that to be pretty relevant. And then the last card I played was uh, one Regeki Break. How was that? That was good. Um, Regeki Break's like it's probably the best trap. It's just really costly. Because like you Gundy's can, out one. So. Right. Um, so there aren't really as many good things to discard for it. Um, but you can draw it when they have a field, and it's good because, like, uh, cards like Solemn Warning, you can, if you draw it when they already have monsters on the field, they're like, this card's not good. But if you draw a Regeki Break when they have one on the field, it's good. And then if you have a field, they're both good. So, like, I'd rather play cards like this, but it's pretty costly, so I just played one. Um... The extra deck, I played one Drago Sag, one Big Eye, one Gaios. Those are the only sevens. Uh, Lava Chain, Bahamut, Diamond Dyer, uh, Exiton, 101, Giant Hands, uh, two Dwellers. Did you ever need the second one this weekend? No, not this weekend. Um, Alucard. There's probably like a lot of extra deck space, honestly. Like, Alucard you only make when you're winning a lot of the time, so it doesn't come up that often. Um, Engineer, and then Double Trite. Um, for the side deck, I played 
two effect veilers, uh, just because I lost a books last week in uh, Mexico, and they scared me, so I wanted to side more for books. Uh, really, I, I don't use a lot of the side deck anyway. I just side cards that are out still, like Soul Drain and Rivalry and stuff like that. Like Floodgates. Yep. Uh, the third MST. Uh, three Encore. Again, just literally just don't want to get tempted to overside. <laughs> So just like three cards I hopefully never have to side, and then if I play against Evil Swarm, then I have three good cards against them. Um, bottomless, uh, one dust, two debunks, uh, three black horns. This card's actually really good. Um, this is one of the only cards I actually sided a lot. Um, I, because I played against five Gyrgya decks, and it's a card you can draw going second against Gyrgya, where it's an out to them setting armor first turn because they flip, get accelerated, and then they exceed, and then you have that. Or just if they open um, Gear Gear Gear, then... Get the guy Yeah, again. exactly. Get the like, guy again. Yeah, so this card is good even going second, and it's really, really strong against Gear Gear. And then uh, two emptiness for the mirror. Would you change anything, like, main extra side, like, after, like, looking back? I mean, for this event, I think it was fine, but if the meta like changes to be you know more mermails or more you know whatever deck I'd probably change it for that but you know for this event I think it was fine yeah, for sure any random shout outs or anything you want to say just uh, shout out to ARG Desmond topped with a very similar deck last week in Mexico I'll do a long profile he's not yes I uh, am <laughs> um, yeah that's it alright congratulations on your time man. thank you appreciate it <laughs>